Hey you guys, it's Jasmine and thank you for clicking on my video. And if you're interested in making this super delicious sweet potato pie, then just keep watching. Alright, so the first thing we're going to make is our pie crust. And I promise you guys, this is a super easy pie crust. It takes less than two minutes to make. And you just need eight tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, one fourth cup of granulated sugar, and one cap full of vanilla. And then we're going to add in one half teaspoon of salt, and then one cup of all-purpose flour. And I will have all the ingredients listed in the description below. And then we're just gonna go ahead and mix all of that up until it looks like this. And this pie crust is so delicious. It's just a short brick. And then we're gonna take a, a pipe, a glass pie pan, and I'm using a nine inch. And I'm just gonna spray it down a little bit. And don't go over nine inch, nine inches, guys, because it would be too big. Try to use an eight inch or a nine inch pie pan. And I'm just going ahead and I'm just placing my crust into the pan. And I'm gonna put that into my refrigerator until I'm ready to use it. And that's it, very, very, very easy. All right, now I'm gonna take the biggest sweet potato I can find <laughs> and I'm gonna stab it. I'm just gonna stab it with a knife. And I'm gonna put this in the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour and 30 minutes until it come out and look like this. It usually takes about an hour and 20 minutes to an hour and 30 minutes. And you wanna make sure you use a big sweet potato. If you don't have a big sweet potato, then try to use two medium ones. And we're just gonna take the flesh out and put it into a bowl. And then I'm gonna take a fork and I'm gonna just smash it for about 10 seconds. All right, now I'm just gonna scoop out one cup. You just need one even cup, and we're just gonna discard the rest. All right, and then I'm just gonna put that one cup of sweet potato back into my bowl, and I'm gonna, now you wanna take a hand mixer and mix it for about 45 minutes because you do not want strings in your potato. And I'm taking a fresh lemon here, and then I'm gonna add in one half teaspoon of fresh lemon juice, and we're just gonna stir that in for a few seconds. Now I'm adding in four tablespoons of unsalted softened butter, not melted, just softened, and we're gonna mix that in. Now I'm adding in one half cup of evaporated milk. And we're just gonna stir that up. Now I'm adding in one cap full of vanilla, one half tablespoon of light corn syrup, All right, so now we're gonna add in our sugar and spices. I have 1 4 cup dark brown sugar, 1 cup granulated white sugar, 1 4 teaspoon cinnamon, 1 4 teaspoon allspice, 1 half teaspoon of nutmeg, and 1 eighth teaspoon of salt. And I'm just crumbling up that dark brown sugar before I put everything in there. Again, all the measurements will be down in the description. All right, then we're gonna take one large egg and we're gonna put that in there and we're just gonna um, give it a little stir. And then we're gonna take our hand mixer on a low speed and mix that for about 10 seconds until it's blended. Now we're gonna take our pie crust out of the refrigerator and it's nice and solid. And we're gonna pour our sweet potato filling into this pie pan here. And everything right now is just smelling so, so good. The sweet potato and the shortbread crust, it is so good together. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this into our oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 to 50 minutes. If you're cooking this on a low shelf in the oven, it's gonna bake faster. If you're baking it on a middle shelf or higher, it's gonna take a little bit longer. So just start watching it around 35 minutes. And here is all done. So, important tip, do not cut right into this pie. Wait at least three hours. I personally prefer my pies to sit out for about 24 hours. I like to chill them in the fridge and then take them out. I cut into it about, I cut into it in exactly three hours so I can show you guys the texture. So, um, this is a pie that I cut into after three hours, and as you, can just, as you can see, it still has like a mashed potato kind of a texture, but it's still good to eat. It's really, really good, you guys. Mm -hmm. 
and this pie is just so good and here I'm going to show you what the pie looked like after I let it sit in, in the fridge overnight and took it out and it's the perfect texture just like I like it it's nice and solid but as soon as it hit the warmth from your mouth it just melts into this creamy goodness so I'm going to go ahead and turn it over so you can see that savory, buttery shortbread crust. It just so goes so well with this pie. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love to hear from you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.